Blessing Show. For those of you just finding us with our declutter challenges, I'm going to teach you how to declutter. I'm not going to go do it for you. I'm going to talk about it and how it all got started. Uh, it all got started because I was reading a weird book called 101 Ways to Feng Shui Your Home. And I was reading another book called um, Nine Steps to Financial Freedom. I got to close that out. I don't know. If hide. Okay. Nine Steps. That was up from the... Let me get the chat up. So I was reading two things and they kind of merged together in my head. And this is when I first started Decoder in 1999. And what happened was Susie Orman said, move nine things. No, the book on feng shui, which I don't know what feng shui is, but it was a, a way to organize your space. And it said, uh, if you move nine things, you bring a different energy to your home. Well, we all know that because we love to clean out closets. Not. Um, so it said move nine things. So I thought, well, nine things. And Susie Orman was saying, go run around your house and gather up 25 items to throw away. Throw away. Imagine that, throwing away something. The 25 pieces of paper, yeah. 25 um Happy Meal toys? Yeah. You know, throw away 25 things. So I'm thinking 25 things. Well, that's not a multiple of nine. So if I made it 27 things, three times nine is 27. I could, it'd be even better. So I started doing a 27 fling boogie. A 27 fling boogie. And you know what? It worked. It really did work. I started getting rid of, I would do a 27 fling boogie three times a day, morning, noon, and night. So the first thing was 27 items to throw away, put in the trash. No, look back, don't pass, go, don't collect $200. Go, go directly to the trash. And then I would, I would run around the house and gather up 27 items, 27 y'all, to give away, 27 items. I'd put it in a box, in a bag, in a trash bag to take out to the car to donate. I'd, it could be 27 pieces of clothing. It could be uh, 27 toys the kids don't play with anymore. It could be 27 books. Yeah, I said books, 27 recipe books, <laughs> cookbooks. It could be 27 of anything to give away, to give away, to bless somebody else with your abundance. Y'all, this stuff works. It really does work. So we get, we did, um, that was the 27 fling boogie. It, you got to make decluttering fun or you're not going to do it. And you got to put a reminder on your phone to do it. You got to put a reminder on your phone to get it done so that you remember it. Because as we all know, out of sight, out of mind is what we what happens to us. If it's not in front of our face on a daily basis, we're going to forget to do it. And I'm going to be in your face every single day getting this done. So listen to me here. Listen to me as we start to declutter. How is make it fun. Put on some fun music. Put on a podcast you like to listen to that keeps your mind occupied so you don't think too hard about holding on to things. Let's get it done. And you're going to be so happy. The more stuff leaves your home, whether in the trash or in your car going to uh, to donate or putting a free sign on it and putting it out by the curb, the more that you eliminate stuff, the better your life is going to be. It really is. The better your home is going to feel. The more places you're going to have 
to deal with the things that need to be put away because you're going to clean out those cubby holes. Now, the next fun thing I did was a five-minute room rescue. Yeah, I would do a five-minute room rescue. This room that I am in right now, it's not my kitchen. That's a, that, that's a backdrop behind me. This room was piled to the ceiling. I had a bathtub in front of this bay window. And, and I had so much stuff in here. Every time we would go to an auction, it gets stuffed in here. And so our, this bedroom, you couldn't even walk in here. So I would, I had two rules, two rules. I could only spend five minutes and I would reach in here and grab a bag or a box or whatever I could reach and go to a clear surface in the living room, my coffee table or my dining table. And I would have a giveaway, put away in a throwaway box. Y'all make those boxes today. That's your first homework assignment is to put together your giveaway, put away, throw away. And in the throwaway box, put a garbage bag. So folks, let's get started. Let's get started. If you put a garbage bag in each one of them, it's going to make it easy for you. Now the put away box, my, uh, my rule was, first rule was find a flat surface, only spend five minutes. My second rule was nothing could come back into this room. It could not come back in this room. And, you know, after about, and we were in the midst of remodeling and they had to, I had to get this room clean because they had to put a floor down in here and the room had to be painted, all kinds of stuff. That's been 20 years ago. This room has stayed decent for a very long time. So folks, Two rules, find a flat surface, spend five minutes and sort through, give away, put away, throw away. And I couldn't put anything back in this room and not spend all day. Now, let me tell you another thing that uh, happened early on in Fly Lady. It was uh, September the 11th of 2001. And you all know what happened that day. It was a terrible day. It was a terrible day. But at Fly Lady, we were decluttering like crazy. And we had um, a camo theme going. I was Field Marshal Fly Lady. Um, Leanne was, um, she was the mess sergeant. And when the towers came tumbling down, we had to pull all the camouflage off the website. It was, and we had to sort of change our tactics. And instead of being uh, brash, like a, a drill sergeant would do, field marshal, whatever. And we just came up with names because we thought they sounded good together. But what happened was Leanne's menu mailer was born. I don't think it's around anymore. But what y'all did is y'all kept decluttering. You turned off your TV and you kept decluttering. You turned off your radio and you kept decluttering. And I'm getting emails saying I've decluttered 60 pounds of, of stuff and, um, And the way we did it was we put something in our crock pot to feed our families. So we didn't have to think about that. And we could stay focused on decluttering. And y'all decluttered, I dare say, a million pounds of clutter. If we had a dollar for every pound of clutter that had, had been decluttered over the years, we could support a lot of stuff. So y'all, please, please, please start to declutter. Get something in your crock pot for dinner. So you don't have to think about that anymore. And focus on one area at a time. And we're going to do it by way of our zones. And this week we're in zone two. So 
let's deal with the clutter that is in our zone two. Y'all, we can do this. We really can. It is, is going to change your heart, your head, your home. The three H's there. You're going to get this clutter out of your house and your house is going to feel bigger. It's going to be more efficient and you're going to be so happy and you're going to have a peaceful place to lay your head. So five minute room rescue is, is another way we did it. Setting your timer for 15 minutes, putting an alarm on your phone that says, Right now, declutter for 15 minutes. Five, four, three, two, one, just like Dr. Mel says, like we do in the launch pad. Five, four, three, two, one. Go declutter for 15 minutes. So please don't procrastinate on this, this one thing. It's going to change your life. It really is. It's going to change your life, your home, your head, your heart, all of it. Blessing someone else. Take that back, Janet. Thank it back. You're not a terrible procrastinator. No, you just think you might need it one day. And we're going to change that attitude that I might need it one day is thinking poor. Put your eyes on Jesus. He will provide. He provides for the birds and the fishes. He's going to provide for you too. Y'all, we can do this. But we got to let go of those evil attitudes of, I might need this one day. And that's, that's hoarding. That's holding on. I heard a great lesson this weekend at, at the deliverance conference that, you know, hoarders, there's something bad going on. Something bad going on. We got to let go of that attitude. We got to ask Jesus to take it from us. That we can live in our homes. You can't live in a home that's a storage unit. And that's what your house has become. So let it go. And let's find. Let's find what it is that you're looking for. And that's peace in your home. And it comes by decluttering 15 minutes every day. That's all it takes. And after three months, you're going to, you're not going to know what happened to your home, but you will have done the work. If, if I were to send somebody to your house to declutter your house, you would feel abused, but you're going to do it. You're going to do it with your own two little hands. You're going to do it with your timer. 15 minutes at a time, maybe one song at a time. This is going to work. It worked for me. You couldn't walk in this room. Our house, you had paths. We had paths everywhere. So let it go. Recognize what that I might need it one day attitude is coming from. It's a place of poor. It's a place of needy. It's a place of not trusting in the Lord. Yeah, you heard me right. So let's let go of that attitude. Let's jump in with both feet and both hands and let's declutter our homes. You're going to love this. I'll catch you later. Focus on your kitchen. Focus on your kitchen right now. Focus on your kitchen. Maybe it's your silverware drawer. That's our... Our, our mission for today is to look into your silverware drawer and see what doesn't belong there. Don't pull it all out. Precisely pluck an item that either needs to go somewhere else or needs to go away. Maybe you set up a, a hope chest for your daughter or your son to start their own apartment. You can do this. Yeah, I'll be back on here at three. Yep. We're back to our routines, routines, routines. They keep us hopping, <laughs> keep us going. So set your timer, spend, spend a few minutes decluttering, put, put something in your crock pot first. That's what happened. Leanne set up five recipes 
that were crockpot recipes that she sent out to all of y'all with the grocery list included. And y'all went to the grocery store, bought the food, and you actually cooked it. You got some favorite crockpot recipes. They're all over the internet. They're all over TikTok and YouTube. Find one. Look in your freezer what you've got in your freezer. Maybe you put some chicken and some mixed vegetables and make chicken soup for dinner. I don't know. Okay, Trish. Trish has a plan. She's putting spaghetti sauce in her crock pot. Yeehaw. My daughter-in-law makes macaroni and cheese in her crock pot. And there's lots of those YouTube shorts on how to do that. Tamara still has those recipes. Praise the Lord. They were good ones too. Y'all, don't procrastinate about decluttering because it's the key to finding your home again. It's the key to letting go. It's to declutter. It teaches you to let go. If you need to sing the Frozen song, then sing it. I like to sing the... Uh, Engelbert Humperdinck song, Please Release Me, Let Me Go, sung from the stuff's point of view. I love you all so much. I'm so happy God gave me this anointing to help you get find your home and to find your purpose because the clutter is the cocoon that is holding you back, holding you back from God's purpose on your life. We can do this. I love you all so much. To God be the glory. You're going to find such happiness when your house runs smoothly and, and it's not being, you're not being pulled to put out fires all over the place. But it starts with getting rid of this clutter. I'll see you later. Bye.